Has Michael Myers got like an asthma problem? Why has he breathed like that? <laughs> this video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello internet, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapil across all my social platforms. That's my cat, yes, get out of the way. Oh my God, your cat's so cute. <laughs> We don't celebrate Halloween in Australia here. Don't know why. But you Americans go fucking bananas over it. So I guess I'm doing a, a scary movie again. In fact, the scary movie we're going to be covering today is Halloween, which released in 1978 and was directed by John Carpenter. And speaking of Carpenter, I actually need to vacuum my floor today. Now, I've never seen this movie. This movie has been said to have inspired countless other movies after it, uh, which would make sense considering it came out when fucking, you know, horseback was a thing and not cars. This movie is very much considered a cult classic, much like Ted Bundy or Marilyn Manson. Probably the wrong cult. And in saying that, I don't really have a choice but to like this movie, regardless of how I feel about it, because otherwise I'm going to get Michael Myered. Yeah, I know the killer. And if I'm being honest, I don't want to get fucking slaughtered by the fans of this movie. So I'm just going to Michael Meyer my own business. <laughs> Honestly though, I think I am going to really enjoy this. It has Jamie Lee Curtis, which she's in her prime at any age, isn't she? <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, hi, hello, how are you doing? Leave me a comment that says, Halloween? More like hella scream. <laughs> and of course it goes without saying, if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell on, or you may just get killed. Not by me, but I don't know. I also have a Patreon where you can see these videos a whole day early and it actually really helps me support myself, which is a good thing. I've got a glass of water because I only drink water when I watch these movies because I want to maintain to the internet that I'm a very healthy person when in reality I'm absolutely not. I have a chair that is currently being taken up by a one-year-old. I don't know, is he able to watch this movie or not? Can someone let me know? And let's get into watching Halloween. I know this theme song. This theme song is fucking banger. I don't like the fucking pumpkin thing just staring at me. <laughs> wow, this was Jamie Lee Curtis's first ever role. What an absolute hella queen. <laughs> what the f- How do you print- Hadden failed Eleanorus. What is that? It takes place on Halloween? I never would have guessed. Why the hell are you kissing in front of a door like that? Go to the bedroom. Michael's around someplace. <laughs> That's so quiet, but I'm too scared to turn it up in case something goes bang and scares the shit out of me. I like how it just- ah! I fucking knew it. What I was trying to say is I like how it just starts off straight away. And we don't know if it's actually Michael filming, or it's like a daily vlogger. This opening scene is just a great PSA of just please lock your fucking doors and windows at night. <laughs> please. Yo man, why don't you just go out the back door that you left completely open for anyone to walk in? Oh, that would be so scary. Yo, hang on. This is giving me anxiety. I need to go make sure that my fucking windows and doors are shut. <laughs> Opening scene of the movie. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Milo, we could be getting murdered, man. Oh, you know, fuck having anxiety, man, because um, those doors were locked. <laughs> hey, no, look back. I'm trying to get a look at something. Move out of the way! Run! Michael? Oh, Michael, you fucked up, buddy. <laughs> Why's the mum just standing like that? <laughs> your son just murdered your daughter! <laughs> Illinois. I've never heard of that before. I've never heard of that. Illinois. Illinois. 
Illinois. Illinois. Illinois. That's very embarrassing for me. Can we just pretend that didn't happen? I mean, I can edit it out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> is that Ben Kingsley? Yeah, we've done anything like this before. Why is it so quiet? Yeah, we've done anything like this before. The thunder and everything's fine, and the musical cues, they sound fine and normal. But when they speak, it's like... I just threw up. You're serious about it, aren't you? There's going to be someone on the road, isn't there? You mean you actually never want them to get out? Never. 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 Say never one more time, and Peter Pan shows up in a mirror. Since when did it let them wander around? Hmm. That would be my biggest fear, honestly. It's driving around late at night, going to pick up the late midnight snack and then seeing all these people in gowns walking around. Just in nowhere. That sounded like a ray gun from Black Ops. Lady, just take your foot off the accelerator! Why is the audio so shit for this? What a lovely looking neighborhood. Shame it's gonna be. Don't forget to drop the key off at the Myers place. I won't. They're coming by to look at the house at 10:30. Be sure to leave it under the mat. I don't think she'd be able to hear you all the way over there, just going. Make sure you don't leave the key under the mat. And she's like. 20 meters away. Okay, I can hear you, don't worry, I will. That's Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> For some reason my brain thought she was the older version of herself back then. You're not supposed to go up there. Yes, I am. 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 Oh! Oh my god. Oh, I hated that. Oh, you guys need to fucking sort out your audio mixing because goddamn, you can't have voices that low and then just fucking. Just the two of us. Has Michael Myers got like an asthma problem? Why does he breathe like that? Homie, you need your pump. For God's sake, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Maybe someone around here gave him lessons. Hand hey man, I don't think you're allowed to park in that car spot. That's handicapped parking, and you seem perfectly okay. He was destined to his own fate. Look, Jamie Lee Curtis is dreaming about me. <laughs> How does Samuel's view of fate differ from that of Cosmo? Ooh, ew! There's someone staring at us. Well, fate was like a natural element, like earth, air, fire, and water. Samuel's writing fate is immovable, like a mountain. What? How fast did he drive away? That was literally the next scene. <laughs> Michael Myers like, I'm fucking busy! <laughs> Boogeyman is coming! Leave me alone! Don't you know what happens on Halloween? Yeah, we get candy. <laughs> yeah! That's right, you get candy! And nightmares for years to come. He's on his way. What a weird spot to have a phone booth. I understand it was 1978, but that's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh no, you didn't see the dead body? My man was too focused on the fucking missing cigarettes that he didn't notice the body. <laughs> Damn, I can't smell dead body, but I can definitely smell missing cigarettes. I'll be totally wiped out. I don't think you have enough to do tomorrow. Totally. Yo, honestly, if I can go to the fucking ball with Jamie Lee Curtis, I'm gonna call that number. The number you have dialed was incomplete or incorrect. Please check the number and dial again. Oh, I... <laughs> What's wrong, Annie? Not smiling. I'm never smiling again. Same. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? 
I don't think so. I think it's cute. <laughs> you think that's cute? <laughs> don't reverse the car. Yes. Be on your way, son. You know, Annie, someday you're gonna get us all into deep trouble. With some deep flesh wounds, am I right? I hate a guy with a car and no sense of humor. Isn't that most guys with cars? <laughs> I'm... I'm joking. I'm... I've got three choices. Watch the kids sleep, listen to Linda screw around, or talk to you. The one thing I'm not understanding is uh, Michael Myers' what fascination with Laurie. I don't get that. Dude, come on. <laughs> he just popped out of a bush! Don't check I behind there! He did the Homer Simpson meme where he faded into the bush. <laughs> he wants to take you out tonight. Yeah, take you out as in fucking take your life. You guys think I'm too smart. I don't, I think you're wacko. Now you're seeing men behind bushes. He's gonna pop up somewhere else, isn't he? Don't be there, don't be right- ah! Excuse me, Laurie. What are you doing just standing on the footpath like that, man? At least tell me you're there! I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? <laughs> okay, Mr. Sheriff, man. <laughs> Hello? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> Guys, it's like 2pm. Do you trick or treating at like 5pm or something? Girl, please tell me you aren't leaving the house with your windows and shit open. Oh god, dude, this is gonna fucking give me nightmares. I hate shit like that. Also, this brings me to the question, how is he so out of breath? All he does is just stand there. Like, all he does is this. I feel like Michael Myers, I'm so out of breath from just standing still. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Jamie Lee Curtis, you are so perfect. Will you go to prom with me, please? Who is this? That's my impression of anyone who saw this movie in 1978. Annie? Was that you? Of course. Hey! Scared me to death. Annabelle doll in the background! Get that thing out of the room, that's cursed! Just calm down. Oh, Laurie, you deserve such a bigger beard. Uh, prob- because of her size, not- there's no, there's no ulterior motive. I just care for someone's back support. What's with all the pumpkins? I don't get why there's so many pumpkins around. Halloween, you fucking numbskull. Yeah, you know, you know, every town is something like this happens. He excused himself from the table and he went out to the garage. He got himself a hacksaw and then he went back into the house and then he proceeded. Where are we? Uh huh? Oh, uh... Loomis is like, that was getting a little bit dark for me. Just tell me where we are currently located. Why do they do it? Goddamn kids. They do anything for Halloween. Yeah, kids do anything for Halloween, but I don't think they dig up people's grave sites for fun. Judith Myers. You know, they might have a little illegal drink, but they're not gonna fucking go, Yo, you know what's gonna be fun? Dig up fucking Betty's gravesite, yeah? <laughs> That's gonna be fucking such a laugh. Mr. Riddle was watching you, Laurie. Mr. Riddle is 87. Oh, is God. I, mm, I know whose car that is. How the fuck does Michael know exactly where Laurie is all the time? Does he have GPS location services turned on? <laughs> That's so scary. I know for a fact that's relatable to a lot of people who drive, right? Because you're driving and then there's a car that will be behind you for maybe one or two blocks too long and you're like... This is it. Hi, Dad. What happened? What? What happened? Oh, uh, somebody broke into the hardware store. Probably kids. All they took was some Halloween mask, a rope, and a couple of knives. Who do you think it was? I know who it was. <laughs> I said, aren't you gonna be late? He shouts too. He shouted because you were like, huh, what'd you say? That's why he raised his voice. You know, Michael Myers is a killer and all, but at least he obeys traffic lights.
Uh, yo, dude, can you not look out the door like that, please? Oh, don't look back at it like that. Yo, man, can you not? Please? Hey. Yo, please, don't. Don't do that. Not during Halloween month. I can't deal with that. The fuck are you looking at? Milo. Alright. Do you reckon Michael Myers is bumping his own like Halloween theme on the aux cord in the car? <laughs> oh, that friend is so oblivious to this man in a pale white mask just standing by the tree. Does anybody live here? No, not since 1963 when it happened. Every kid in Haddonfield thinks this place is haunted. What is that? It's a dog. A dog? It's still warm. He got hungry. He ate a dog? He could have seen us through this window. Standing on the lawn, he could have seen inside. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, don't do that to me. I fucking hate sudden shit like that. Seems to me you're just playing scared. Yes. Yeah, I, I am. Uh... I, I, I am a bit scared, actually. <laughs> I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. So was Michael Myers just a really messed up kid? Was he possessed or what? I don't think he was possessed. I think he was just a little fucking psycho who grew up to be a fucking bigger psycho. I don't like that story. I thought King Arthur was your favorite. Not anymore. Why do you keep him under there? Mom doesn't like me to have him. <laughs> My brain's so immature. I, th I thought the kid had fucking access porn, fucking porn magazines or something. It's like, that's why I hide them under the couch, you know? I got them from Dad's room. Having fun? Never mind, I'm sure you are. Big news for you. Oh, fucking hell, don't do that, you dog. Hi, Lester. I'm about to be ripped apart by the family dog. What are you barking at, my man? I can bark too. <laughs> oh, I can see what the dog was barking at. I can't believe it. I can't tell you anything. Every time I tell you something, Dude, come on! Oh man, don't just stand around like that. Isn't that weird that just standing still can just freak people out? No, no, I just made a mess of myself. I gotta call you back. Oh, yeah! Oh, in 2021, I just made a mess of myself is <laughs> not the same meaning as it was back then. Nope. Lester, go away! Oh, never mind. I guess you found a hot date. Fuck you! Am I going to get spoiled for this movie as well? Because I haven't seen the thing. What about the boogeyman? There's no such thing. I don't know anything about the boogeyman, but I know about the boogeyman. And um, he comes at least once a week. I saw him outside. There was nobody outside. There was. What did he look like? The boogeyman. <laughs> also, wouldn't Laurie out of all people understand and be like, holy shit, okay, you've seen the same person as me. Terrific. It's not even that dark. You can still see. Oh, please don't come out of the cupboard, man. <laughs> For a $2 mask, it is quite effective, isn't it? It's quite creepy. I like to think that wasn't the wind and it was just Michael Myers with a little bit of fishing wire on the other side just pulling the door shut. <laughs> Oh, I'll fucking get this one pretty good, won't I? 
Here's an idea, might make it a little bit easier for you. Move the basket out of the way before you try to open the door. Hello? Hi Lindsay, this is Paul. Is Annie there? Here she is. Get her for me, will ya? There's a joke here, and it goes, is Annie okay? Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> When did they leave? About a half hour ago. Mm. <laughs> so why don't you just what? walk up? No wonder he gets so puffed. He fucking sprints off that quickly that no one can see him straight away. Oh, if I can fix it so you can watch TV with Tommy Doyle, would you like that? Yeah. Well, come with me. If you want to live, too early to say that? Maybe? My lights today are very blue. Oh, yeah, that was locked when you first tried that. <laughs> ah! Okay, you knew I was gonna say it, but Annie just got hit by a smooth criminal. <laughs> Lindsay, where are you? She just looked directly at him. <laughs> Andy wasn't- Ah, uh, fucking Tommy wasn't lying. I've got fucking child's play in my head. Because that was something I've recently watched. I'm not afraid. Bull. I'm not. Then go in. <laughs> Dude, you're going to see a dead dog in there, bro. You ready for this? Hey. Hey, Lonnie. Get your ass away from there. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Jesus. Are you alright? Yeah. Hey, children. Uh, get away from the door. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. Doctor, do you know what Haddonfield is? Families. Children. All lined up in rows, up and down these streets. Yeah, Michael Myers thinks the same thing. All children and families lined up in rows. But there's a very different motive. First we go inside, right? Then we'll just talk a little. And then Annie will distract Lindsay. That's when we go upstairs. Oh, Annie's gonna distract you, alright. Um, but she's not gonna be alive to do it. Bob, put me down! <laughs> put me down! This is totally silly! <laughs> That's such a fucking 70s, 80s line. This is totally silly! Hey, Annie! I swear to God, if they say, Annie, are you okay? I'm gonna die. <laughs> hey, Michael. Just let them have their fun for now. <laughs> hey, is Annie around? No, I thought she'd be home by now. She went to pick up Paul. That man's having post-nut clarity. He's thinking, do I even like women? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Later. Have a good time. We definitely will. Bye. Okay, so maybe the post nut clarity hasn't happened yet. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't. I can't help it. The phone keeps ringing. It's just Ghostface going, What's your favorite scary position? <laughs> Michael Myers has come in, come into the room. Is that all you can say? Yeah. Okay, yeah, post nut clarity's hit him now, <laughs> for sure. I'll be right back. Don't get dressed. Hell yeah, bro. What beer are we drinking?
Fuck off. Lock your fucking doors, people! Come on out. Did he just pin him to the fucking wall with a knife? Uh, oh my fucking god, I- Oh, I hate that! Oh my god, I can't get over how much I hate that. This girl really thinks that this man just put his dick in her and is now playing fucking peekaboo. <laughs> What's the matter? Can I get your ghost, Bob? <laughs> all right, all right, come on, where's my beer? <laughs> Quit playing, where's my beer, man? Well, can't you answer me? No, I'm a ghost. Don't you know about spirit world and normal world? <laughs> Hello? Oh my gosh, she's gonna think that they're just having sex on the phone. First I get your famous chewing, now I get your famous squealing. <laughs> this is a different type of squealing. Are you fooling around again? I'll kill you if this is a joke. Probably not the right words to use. Annie? And that scene alone is like the reason why you shouldn't be having sex, okay? Because chances are... You're going to be doing it and then a murderer is going to come in and that's the last thing you're going to be doing. When I think about it, the last thing I want is for a serial killer to see my dick. I'd be like, you know, doing the doing the business and then a serial killer walks in I'm like... Well, at least before you do it, tell me, is it a decent size? <laughs> I got some bad news for you, Laurie. I don't think anyone's going to be answering the door. All right, you meatheads, joke's over. Oh my god, she's going to stumble on the guy, like, pinned up against the wall with the knife. This is about to get awkward. Bitch, why aren't you just turning on all the lights in the house? That's what I would be doing, every single light. I don't give a fuck, it's not my electricity bill, but, you know, pays to be safe. Is the message. Though, if you do turn on the light, chances are you still are gonna get stabbed, so... Yuck! That's messed up. Gosh, fuck you! Oh god, dude, don't go in the kitchen. Don't go where the beers are. Don't go where the beers are. Anything to fucking do with that. Look, I don't know if you can see this. Look at that. With a door like that, at this rate, I would just... <laughs> Why do you swing around the door like that? Right when you need them the most, your knees always fail, don't they? Hello, help me! Here, please help me! Please! <laughs> nope! Help me, please! I may have missed this completely while watching it, but I don't understand why Laurie is specifically being targeted by Michael. Can, can someone clear that up for me? No spoilers though, please. Why is he so chill? 
He just he just walks. Tommy, hurry up! Tommy, please! Mm. Do as I say! Hurry! Oh no. Oh. Oh. He already got in? How fucking quick is this guy? Oh, what? That worked. We just stabbed him in the neck with a sewing needle. Uh, oh, we killed him through the power of sewing. Laurie, I'm going to be honest. I don't think that's adequate. I'd go in for another <laughs> if I was you. Come on, Dr. Loomis. What have you been doing this whole movie, man? You go around the back of the houses. I'll watch the front. I'm almost tempted just to call you Scare the Kids by the Bush Boy. Tommy? Lindsay? I did it, guys. We killed the booger man. There's nothing to be scared of. Are you sure? How? You can't kill the booger man. Ah! <laughs> My man Michael didn't die. He just needed a breather. He's been doing too much walking the whole movie. He needed to have a lay down. Come on, Laurie, what's a little bit of string around the door handle gonna do? This man fucking pinned a guy to the wall with a knife like it was a fucking post-it note. I said it, didn't I? <laughs> Did you stab him in the eye? All right, I need someone to check if Michael Myers actually has asthma or not. That breathing is not normal. Come on, Laurie, just fucking... Pfft. Come on, do it, do it. I know you want to, just... Pfft. Even just, like, just stab him in the leg a little bit so he can't walk as fast. I want you to tell them to call the police and tell them to send him over here. This is why you gotta stab them at least three times. <laughs> I swear to God, if this guy has been this whole movie and this is his build up and he dies straight away, I'm gonna be so angry. Laurie, wouldn't you have learnt to not turn your back to this guy by now? Oh shit! We got a face reveal! If he gets up from that, this guy isn't human. No one takes fucking 26 bullets to the chest and then goes... Confirm the kill. Check, make sure he's still there. How the fuck is he able to do that? You're telling me you could hit this man with a fucking Boeing 747 and he would just... <laughs> he would just walk it off. I don't like that. Don't like the breathing in my ears. That needs to stop. Alright, so that was Halloween, which came out in 1978 and I am only fucking nearly... 50 years late to it. I'm gonna get straight to my rating because no one watches the outro and that makes me really upset. But I'm gonna give Halloween a 4 out of 5. It's definitely a cult classic. I can see the cultural impact that's had. And quickly, if you did enjoy this video, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. A lot of work goes into these videos and it's obviously greatly appreciated. I'm gonna leave it there. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a big like or a little like depending on your knife size. I thought I was smart with that one. I definitely wasn't. And I will see you all the next time that I see you, which is when we will do this. And you know what? Because it's October and it's Halloween month and we're doing spooky movies all month, I'm going to leave you with a very important parting message. Creep it real. Creep it real.